Hey, Facebook land, how are you? I am sitting here with wonderful Lola and my little cat. I don't even know, is this Snapchat? Anyways, I do not use these filters that often, so, but they're so fun, right? It's my first time using it. As you're popping in, make sure you say hello to Lola and I. We're, we're gonna be talking about closing the sale you guys isn't she adorable is she not so cute is she not so cute oh my gosh I love this little girl she's eating everything in my office though you guys like everything in my office is being eaten by little Lola. folders files oh yeah she peed on a folder by the way she like literally peed on one of my folder I had all my work in my folder and she peed on it I swear but look at how cute she is. So she's joining us today. She is joining us today because I just can't get anything done. No. Okay. And then she's going to come with me to go get coffee because I didn't make my Starbucks run either. It's been a very, 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 very busy day. Very good day. Very busy day. All right. So I know about Lola who's now biting my hand. Um... Sarah, what's up, girlfriend? Sarah, you need to come see her. Look at her. She's going to love all over you, Sarah. Uh, so Sarah's a very good friend of mine. She lives in the state over in Indiana. What's up, Michelle? Hi, Bonnie. What's... Yes. Oh, my God. I love her. I love her, too. She's very precious. Thank you, Heather. Um, so as you guys are tuning in, all right, let me turn off this filter. Let me just turn off the filter. How do you guys turn off the filters? <laughs> I don't know if I can turn off the filter. Um, can we not turn off the filters? I guess we're going to do this and I'm going to be in a cat filter. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know how to get it off. Here, go down. All right, if anyone knows how to get the filter off, let me know. If not, no big deal. Lola. Oh my gosh, she's biting the rug. All right, here we are. We're going to talk about closing. And I see... Sarah, how did you turn off the filter? <laughs> I'm hitting the little wand and it doesn't want to turn off. This is crazy. It just says talk to change your voice. I don't want to change my voice. Who wants to change their voice? All right, well, I'm going to do the Facebook Live with this. Okay. You guys, she's now biting my Diva Light stand. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so I hear of this question asked all the time. How do you close? Like, how do you get so many people to enroll? Okay. And so how do you close a sale? And so that's what today's live is going to be about. Sorry. Now she's biting my toe. I'm losing. She's distracting me. She is a distraction. You guys distraction. Number one, right here, right here. So if you see this wiggling, that's her biting it. Um, Oh, first of all, before I dive into the, the content of how to close, because I know this is really good stuff, right? Juicy. It's juicy because it's two questions that you need to be asking yourself. Um, if you are new to who I am, I am Julie Burke. I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. I obviously have a 10-pound cockapoo that's running around my office and biting everything known to man. And um, what I do is I love helping home-based business entrepreneurs bring their business online, develop their brand, their own personal brand, because it's so crucial for your business. And I uh, also teach them some online marketing strategies, specifically on uh, Facebook, okay? And so if you are new to me and you'd like my new, um, I just came out with my a free training video on how to amplify your brand so you'll get a video with a free uh, resource with it um, just let me know drop me a one and I'll make sure to get that over to you and if you are new to me please put hashtag new into look at hashtag look at me I'm like literally going like this hashtag new into the comment section and I'll make sure to get it for you Allison girlfriend I have a little gift for you um, what you asked me to do it is um, on its way. So actually, Allison, I love that you're on. Can you send me your email? Because I'm going to send it through Dropbox for you, okay? Okay, Laura, I'll make sure to get that free resource to you. Okay, so I get the whole... Um, oh, and obviously, of course, guys, 
always like, comment, and share. And I cannot get this off me. This cat, what are these ears and this. I, I can't get the filter off, so we're going to do this with the filter on. And you guys, hold on. i got to get her up. Ah, if you're tuning in, Lola is biting everything in my office. All right, so here we go. How do you close this out? How have I been very successful to enroll 20-plus people in a month? Well, that's, we're talking business, right? The business opportunity, okay? So part of the opportunity is part of the opportunity, whether you're talking opportunity or you're talking to a potential product user, it's so important, and I swear I feel like I'm beating a dead horse when I say this, but I'm gonna say it again. It is so important to ask the right questions. This is part of the sales process, and most people get icky all about the sales process, but this is what leads to the close. It is called the sales process. And I, I really don't like using the word close, you guys. I love using the word open. So instead of saying, how do you close? I like to say, how do you open? Because what you're doing is you're opening up that person. You're opening them up either to the vision, you're opening up them up to their dreams, you're opening up to the possibilities, you're opening them up and helping them to see that they need your product. So what? What, what is it for them? You have to get really good recruiters, right? Ask really good questions, right? And they know how to listen. So if you do all of the work up front, she's biting me, up front of what you are supposed to do, listen, ask questions, get to know why, why they want to know more about your product. Why do they want to know more about your opportunity? If you do all of your due diligence up front, the close or open, whatever you want to call it, it's inevitable, you guys. It is inevitable. It's going to happen because you know how to go back and um, overcome if there is an objection, which there shouldn't be many objections, but if there is, you'll know how to come back and overcome any objection because guess what? You collected all the data up front. Now, does that make sense to you guys? If that makes sense, drop me an emoji. Let me know. Do you have issues with closing sales? Do you have issues with um, getting these people inspired to take action? If you do, drop me a two. Hey, what's up, Eva? How are you? Eva's birthday was yesterday, you guys. We should wish Eva another happy birthday. She's amazing. Um, I hope your day was awesome, girl. So... Here are the two questions because, again, what I see is a lot of people freaking out because this person isn't buying or this person isn't enrolling and joining the business. And in all actuality, sometimes we get in this space of, I just need to enroll another person or I just need to make another sale instead of actually, actually asking yourself, is this person that you're selling to, whoever that is, for the potential product or the opportunity, will their life improve? You have to ask that question, because why are you doing what you're doing in the first place? Because when it comes down to the sales process, you guys, people think it's so hard, and it's not. It's truly so easy, and all you're doing is having a conversation, but it has to be the right conversations. Finding out where they're at in their life right now, where they want to go, where are they at and where do they want to go and how can you get them there? If it's weight loss, what have they done in the past for weight loss? What are they doing now? Have they done the diet? Have they um, done fitness classes? Can they, can they do fitness classes? Are they mobile enough to do fitness classes? You know, some people have to lose a lot of weight and they're embarrassed to go to the gym. Get them to open up to you about it. And then offer them that solution. That's all you're doing. And then asking them that question. What would your life look like if you don't do this today? Right? And so the number two question you want to ask them is when you're, when that interaction is over. Okay? So let's say now you are to the point where they do join. Um, will their world become a better place? Will you leave them better than, will 
the world become a better place than when you began the conversation. Okay, so it's the same thing like, let's say somebody is loving your product. They're loving it. And you wanna have that conversation with them about joining the business or the opportunity. And you turn back to them and you say, so, so Sue, you're telling me that you've lost 20 pounds. You're telling me that you have more energy now than you've ever had in the 50 years of your existence. You're telling me that you're actually able to catch, keep up with your grandchildren, that you're sleeping better at night, that you have better digestion, whatever it is. You're telling me all this. So why is it only okay for you to experience all this, but it's not okay for somebody else to experience it? Wouldn't you love to share this with your loved ones? Wouldn't you love to have them feel the same way? Right? And so sometimes people shy away from pointing out like what is realistic at that moment. And, and so that is also part of the process of conversion, right? Converting somebody that would maybe come in as a product user over to a business builder. So it is, Michelle, yes, it's having the right conversation. Another thing is asking for the sale. A lot of times what I see is people saying, okay, so they wanna learn more about the product and whether they're using three-way calls or three, or um, uh, I'm sorry, whether they're using the phone to have the conversation or they're using Messenger to have the conversation like I teach my team to, like all of, you know, we use Messenger to build our business. So most of our conversations are happening in Messenger. But they might say to the person, oh my gosh, you guys, Lola is attacking me. And so they might say to the person, hey, so Sue, check out the information and let me know, um, let me know what you think. You guys, you guys cannot end conversations and let me know what you think. That's just not okay. You are not gonna make a sale if you leave it like that. So the proper way to run it is to say, hey, Sue, listen, I'm going to add you to these groups or I'm going to send you this video. When do you have five minutes to, um, oh my gosh, you guys, she's pulling the tie off my pants. Woo, this, this video is going to be like taking a turn for the worse in a second. Stop it. She's very feisty. I think she has to go outside to the bathroom. But anyways, so back to Messenger. I'm getting sidetracked by this puppy. Um, I would say, Sue, I'm so happy you want to learn more about this product. First of all, what have you tried in the past for weight loss? What have you tried in the past for anti-aging? What have you tried in the past? Like, have you done any other collagen products? Have you d used any other oils? What have you done in the past? Okay, what worked, what didn't work? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? Because I want to make sure I'm sending you the appropriate information. So I'm already peeling the layers of the onion, right, with Sue, and letting her know that I truly care. Then I'm sending her the information, or I'm getting her the information, but I say, Sue, when do you have time to watch this five minute video, 10 minute video? Okay, cool, so I'm gonna follow up with you today. I'm gonna hit you back up on Messenger, okay? Or do it whatever, you guys, in your language. You guys, is this making sense? Like, is this helping? To, to, because all you're doing is guiding them to the decision. You're helping them make that decision. And you're asking yourself, okay, is what I have right for them? Number one, is it going to improve their life, right? And then number, like, is this the right person? And then number two, can you lead them better than where they started, okay? And, and then also knowing that who's doing who a favor, right? So oftentimes the prospect thinks that they're doing us a favor because they're going to buy a product from us or they're going to join our team. We have to flip that, you guys. We have to know that we have the power in regards to like what we have, whether it's our product or our, our opportunity, whatever that is, whatever that looks like. You have to realize that you have something amazing. You have something that somebody else really could use or they need if they're the right prospect, of course, right? If it's right for them, of course, because again, not everyone's your prospect. Does that make sense, you guys? And so just understand that. Now, let's say Sue goes off, she watches the video, I'm coming back through Messenger later, and I say, hey, Sue, checking in on you, what did you like best about what you saw? I'd love to hear back, I'd love to hear your thoughts. 
instead of saying what questions do you have, I say I love to hear your thoughts. It's a different, you guys, it's a different question or it's a different statement here, okay? And so then Sue explains her thoughts and I say, awesome. It sounds like you liked a lot of stuff about that video. Are you ready to get started? We can have your account open in no time. I'll send you the link. It's really simple. I actually have, for me, it's a $10 coupon um, code. They could get $10 off. It could be shipped to your door in no time and we can get you going. How does that sound? Like, boom, right? And that is for product. If it's opportunity, it is more of selling the vision, right? And, and helping them realize that they can create something in, that is truly amazing inside of network marketing that would get them out of their nine to five, that would have them be home with their children, right? So you're casting that vision and you're opening them up to the possibility. You guys, this is what closing is. It is not just saying, hey, Sue, let me know what you think, you know? So I hope this helps you guys. I really do. And then understanding that you have the power, that you have it's the posture that you have to have in knowing that you have something really great and that you don't know if it's right for them. So you want to find out if it's right for them first instead of going after them with going straight from this is what I have. Are you ready to purchase? No, it is really, truly, authentically figuring out if what you have is right for them and they will appreciate you so much more. But when it comes to the close, whatever you want to call it, opening them up, you have to ask them to get started. You have to ask them to get started or it will not happen. That conversation will drag on and on and on. They'll, and this is one reason why I don't ask them if they have questions because if they don't have questions, they're gonna sit there and they're gonna think that they have to have questions and then they're gonna sit there and think about, oh my gosh, should I be asking her questions right now? No, just what, what are your thoughts about this, right? Do you see yourself doing this, right? How about we get these products in your body so you could actually have the experience you've been looking for instead of going on those diets that you don't want to count points anymore, right? So again, you guys, it's like a 360. Think of it like a 360. You're going right back to their pain and their struggles and their conversation. You're hitting them with all the emotional benefits of what you can offer them. Does that make sense? You guys, if this makes sense, I need like hearts, I need you guys to explode all over my page right now because I am talking and I'm not getting anything and so I do not know what is happening. Hey Amy, what's up girlfriend? Amy Turner, I love you lady. Um, but yeah, show me some love. If you found value, please you guys share this. Like, comment, share. As always, sharing is caring. But I want this message out there because I truly feel that people... They don't take the power in their own hand. They don't take posture. You guys, drop posture in the comment section now. Posture equals power. It does. And it's not saying you're having power over the prospect. It's saying power and control that conversation to lead it to the sale. Okay? That's all it's saying. It's helping to get you guys. People need direction. People want to be told what to do. So that's why I say, listen, you order, you're going to get the products, and then in, by day three, you're going to have them in your body, and we're going to get you going, and you're going to start feeling amazing, or whatever it is for your product, what your product can offer. That is how it's done. That is why I am making a lot of sales, and I have a lot of people joining our team, is because I am not only, yes, I know it comes with developing a, a brand, but... That's just, that. that's more true, I think, with the uh, business builder side. It, it helps you guys, attraction marketing. This is why it's something I teach. I don't have time to go into that now. But even for the product users, like, pro people are coming back and they're like, okay, w w this website looks amazing. Your products look amazing. What else do you recommend? They're like then asking me because I'm already building the relationship, asking the right questions when it comes to the product users that they're like, what else do you recommend? What else should I purchase? What else do you like? They're asking me for suggestions to order more. When you do it in this fashion, when you do it in this way, this is when the conversion happens. This is when the sale happens and you don't even really have to, to, to ask for it all the time because they're already excited. It's about getting them excited to try it. And opening them up and saying, listen, we have a 30-day guarantee. You guys, most companies have 30-day guarantee, right? We have a 30-day guarantee. If you don't like it by day 29, 
Call up the company. Get your money back. No skin off my back. It, this is for you. It's not for me. So, again, just crushing all those objections without even the objections coming up. You're already crushing every single objection. Make sense? All right, guys. Listen, thanks for hanging. I got to run. I'm going to go get coffee. And my dog is now, like, I think ripped up every single paper in my office. But I love her. So, it's all good. Um... But thank you for hanging with me. And like I said, uh, please share it if you found value in this and you know if somebody else needs this message. And I don't know. Sorry, I can't get this cat thing off me. But um, I will make sure. Ah, hunt. You guys see this? Look at You're wit witnessing this. Lola, say goodbye. Just say goodbye. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.